Have you ever had an idea you were so excited about, but as soon as you sat down to put it on paper, you got so overwhelmed with where to start that you gave up on it immediately? That has been me for the past three years. I started my journey as an illustrator two years ago, and I have been so lucky to have worked on many children's books for self-published authors. But it's always been a dream of mine to write and illustrate my own story one day. And even though I've tried many times to start working on the project, I would always get discouraged and would drop it eventually. I've never managed to make any progress and I would always feel like my story is not original enough or my characters are boring. If any of those things resonate with you and you felt like this before, here are some simple tips that I changed in my workflow but mostly in my mindset to break away from this cycle of overthinking and actually start working on the projects that I've been so excited about. If it's hard for you to know where to start from, try finding something very simple to begin with. A really productive and easy thing to start with is collecting references for your project. I like to go on Pinterest and make a board specifically for my current book, project or sketch. It might seem obvious, but starting with something you enjoy can make or break your motivation to keep going. If there will be parts of your projects that you know you might struggle with, be it hands, faces, backgrounds, try starting with something that you already know you like. For me personally, that is drawing characters. So I usually like to start with a character sheet of my main protagonist or some face studies to get into the habit of drawing them. Find what it is that you love doing the most and start slowly with that. I know it's tempting to set yourself a goal, to finish it as soon as possible, but going day by day has helped me stay focused on what I have to do right now and not get bogged down by negative thoughts about my art or how much I have yet to do. Even one small sketch is already a step towards your goal, so let that be the task for the week. And that wraps up all the steps. I hope you found some of them useful and that you're feeling a little bit more inspired now. Thank you so much for watching.